are back with Ryan Tedder. Not only is he the frontman for One Republic, he's also one of the most prolific songwriters in music, working with acts like Ed Sheeran, Beyonce, and even Sir Paul McCartney. Now Ryan is sharing his expertise as a mentor and producer for NBC's new show called Songland, where contestants get the chance to pitch their original songs to some of the industry's top artists. Ryan, good to have you here. A lot of talk about this show. We've yeah. Been talking a lot about it on The Voice. Yeah. The Voice now comes to a halt. You'll premiere tonight. Tell us about the songwriting process and how that is now a television show. What are we going to see? Well, you know, for, I don't even know, 100 years it's been behind closed doors. I equate kind of everything. I do a lot of food analogies. I mean, you're about, you're about to have a food segment yeah. here. Uh, you know, 15 years ago, the idea of Americans and everybody being obsessed with watching people cook and chefs make food was preposterous. Right. And now we're all obsessed with it. So the two most consumed things in the world are food and music, and this cracks the code on the music components. So we're letting you into the kitchen. This is how hit songs are written, the collaborative process, like lyrics and melody falling from the sky. It's, it's kind of like a musical, musical sorcery. But for people who watch The Voice, it's simple, right? I mean, you're looking for people who have an incredible voice. Yeah. Yeah. What, do, what do people who will watch this show tonight, what does it take for somebody? How will you know if somebody has that it factor for songwriting? It's well, such a personal yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. Well, a lot of these writers do have good voices. Some don't, which makes it really interesting. Uh, it's more about, do you, have, do you have a point of view? Do you have a story to tell? You know, can you turn a phrase? Can you craft a word? Like, you, you think about everybody from Beyonce to Adele to Ed Sheeran. They're, you equate them with stadiums. You equate them with the Super Bowl halftime show. None of that exists without the songs. If you don't have the songs, then you don't have anything. You wrote, like, how do you write, you wrote Rumor Has It for Adele? Yes. How do you write for Adele? What went into that process? Well, during 21, 25 was a different album than 21. So I, my whole job is to support. When I'm not doing the One Republic thing, I flip modes into like support mode. So I'm there to glean from you. I'm gonna, my goal is to get you talking and just let you and me shut up and get you talking. And then nine times out of 10, you're going to come out with the phrase. Are so you with, writing word to, to paper? I'm writing, I, I'm taking mental notes. Like with, room, for instance, with Rumor Has It, Adele walks in and she's like, I'm so pissed off. I don't even want to talk about it. People in London, my friends are saying, uh, rumor, rumor has it that Adele's gone off and she's done this with this guy and she's done this, this with the other Adele. guy. And she's like, I didn't do any of it. It's a rumor. And so I was like, there it is. We're going to write a song called Rumor Has It. She spells it with a U because she's British. But right. it started with that. And then I, I pulled up a guitar riff, like an old bluesy guitar riff, and just started stomping on the ground. And she, she ain't real. She ain't going to be able to love you. First thing out of her mouth. You I mean, make it look so easy. You should win song on it. You would win it in a second. What are we? Well, I'm secretly entering my uh, avatar next. You're next not. Week. You're like a, a mentor on the show, along with Esther Dean, who's written for yeah. Beyonce and so Rihanna. We're, and we're kind of like, well, yeah. Esther Dean's brilliant. Uh, Shane McAnally, uh, number one writer in country music, right. forty number ones. Body out like last a back row. He wrote. Body like a back road. He did uh, Rainbow. Uh, Casey Musgraves. So our chemistry is nuts. The three of us don't really compete. Uh, against each other too much. We're trying to help the writers on the show. One of the cool things about the show is you get to see the artists and how talented they are. Right. Like you're going to freak out when you see John Legend just sit down and start playing a song in whatever key he wants. Charlie Puth calling out the key of a record because he's like a savant. Nick Jonas picking up the guitar, writing a new verse, then going into a chorus on piano. I mean, it's, it's all happening in real time. You guys did Rescue Me, One Republic, your band, yes. on our show. Any, yes. any new music yeah. from you coming out soon from the group? Yeah. I mean, we're, my goal right now is to drop a new song like every four to six weeks. I mean, this is ambitious, but for like the next two years. I had two years to what kind of chill. What does that mean? So no album? No, we're doing an album. So okay. it was like drop four or five so four songs. By the fifth song, here's an album. Then start the process so all over again. Everything is so different. You know, Ed Sheeran was here and we were talking about he released Castle on the Hill. You know, the two singles, like the same day. Yeah. And they could have been more polar yeah. opposite. I was like, yeah. why'd you do that? And he's like, well, they're so different on the record. I thought if both of these songs go, yeah. I'll know the album's good. Like, the, yes. uh, it's changed so yeah. much. We saw Miley talking about it. Yeah. It's just changed so much the way the music business Str rolls out music. Streaming has upended the entire system uh, in a way that I can't even explain explain but now the way people consume music is a lot like if i if you give me something new and i like your artistry i like you as an artist well three weeks later i've already kind of moved on so you better give me something new again right i don't i don't like to say more is more because you want it to be quality right. it needs to be curated but more is more enter story on instagram like, yeah right? it's, it's i mean fuel that whole it, it fuel that branding. thing because we're or we're all 
everybody now has developed this weird ADHD. Right. Like if right. you weren't ADD four years ago, you are. You ADHD. don't yeah. sit for meals on the artist. You have to snack on your favorite yeah, artist. You, you all, snack you're on your grazing favorite. all yeah. the time. This is this, basically my goal is to keep your metabolism up as much as possible. You do as much music as possible. Well, congrats on the show tonight. We're all going to be watching Ryan. Thank you. Songland premieres tonight, 10, 9 central right here on NBC.